So, I've done a series of dark videos, so I'm going to do another video right now. This video is called The Raping of Michael Jackson. In this man's death, in the wake of his death, uh, there has been reports and rumors that the victim, you know, back in the day that, you know, the one that allegedly got the $22 million from Michael Jackson, the little boy said he was not raped by Michael Jackson. Not molested, not fondled, not touched by Michael Jackson. Now, how can you take somebody's money, wait until they have passed on, and then come out? The little boy was 13 years old, apparently, when this went down, and when Michael Jackson coughed up the money. The man is 29 years old now. If your parents made you lie about something, why would you wait until you're damn near 30 years old to come out and tell the truth? A conscience is a terrible thing to leave behind as a child. His conscience caught up with him when Michael Jackson died. What about all the other situations? These people are saying that Michael Jackson's kids aren't biologically, biologically his. Does that matter? How many kids of Angelina Jolie's are not biologically hers? You can have a surrogate mother uh, have a baby for you. That's legal. If a woman wanted a sperm donor, she could have a sperm donor, couldn't she? That's legal. To have someone's egg and sperm both donated to create the child that you want is kind of mysterious. But, rich people do it all the time. What makes this man any different? I don't know if that's how I really want that to come off, but hey, that's how it came off. Then the false reports of him having needle holes all over his body. All this stuff that you will hear and that you will begin to hear is the beginning of the raping of Michael Jackson. I look on the side, you know, on the side of these web pages where it's normally reserved for do you like Obama or how is your IQ. Now in a sense, will Michael Jackson go down as a legend? Get a free Michael Jackson t-shirt. Just internet scams popping up all over the world using Michael Jackson's image. This is the ultimate disrespect to anybody. How much of this is real and how much of this is fake and what's true? What is the truth? Does it matter where he's going to be laid out at? There's people, millions, maybe billions of people who love this individual. And that's a power that a lot of people will never, ever see. In the wake of this man's death, oh, there's going to be a custody battle for the kids. Now there's another rumor that there may be more than one will. I don't know. All I know is there's Michael Jackson that I liked and a Michael Jackson I didn't like. The Michael Jackson I appreciated. The Michael Jackson I didn't want to see. The Michael Jackson that I understood. And the Michael Jackson that I thought was Jacko, like they call him. Yes, sir. Nothing much, man. You know, I got pulled over today. I got pulled over two houses down from the house coming out of the driveway. I shit you not. Two houses down from the house, I was pulled over. Huh? Well, he was he was coming around the corner, I guess, when I stopped to speak to the neighbor. He pulled up right inside me. Boop, boop. Lit me up. Of course, my tags. But when the man got out the sheriff, when the sheriff got out the car, it was the same one that came to check when the stereo was stolen out of the car. You know, and he was, and he was, yeah, 
Oh, he was cool, man. He was like, man. Okay, and I told him what happened with the tasering and all that, and he's like, man, you have enough problems as it is. I'm not going to compound your problem, and I'm not telling you to drive this car anywhere. Because I know you got to take, because I was taking a letter to the public defender's office, right? He says, I know you got to take care of business, and I'm not telling you to drive this car anywhere. I'm going to back up, and you go take care of your business. No, he ran and ran to check on me and everything. He told me that the registration is up, right? But now they got this new law in California. They can up to triple you, give you a ticket for triple the registration and force you to pay the registration if you get a ticket. I mean, triple. Hey, my phone is, hello? My phone about to die. You coming through? My phone is about to die. You coming through? All right, I'll see you in a minute. I need to plug this up. All right, hello? Oh, let me get back to the story, though. Out of all the bad things that happen to people in life, it's always the bad stuff that you'll be remembered by. When you write something or read something about somebody, there's someone else's words critiquing your situation or subject. Michael Jackson had a lot of people dislike him because he was accused of allegations that were found to be unproven. But since he paid out a settlement in the first child molestation case, when the second one came along, it's, oh, look, there he goes again. Another power-hungry, rich person taking advantage of our children. Michael Jackson, whoever he was, did more good than he ever did bad and now that this man has passed on people are coming out saying he did not do these things he was accused of I saw a video the other day on uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I saw it on. I'm just gonna download it and put it back up and it was sad and I'm gonna play one excerpt from that video um, what I want to try to tell people is this People are going to pass judgment on you. The worst thing they ever think you've ever done. But perception is one thing. Only you know what you've done. Who can say what you have done? No one can judge you. And sometimes, that's exactly what people do. So, for the last time, uh, leave Michael alone. Peace.